Welcome back, Zero K fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 with another exhibition match, this time between Gota and Lowry on Wanderlust. So, we have seen these players play quite a lot before in tournaments. Gota, of course, is one of the best Zero K players. Him and Randy are pretty much the best Zero K players at this point. Lowry, on the other hand, has, I believe, gotten third and fourth in the 1v1 tournaments, respectively. So, he is no mean player himself. He is quite good at this game. So, both players. Very powerful. Lowry going for heavy tanks, as is his specialty. Go to going for spiders because he just goes for the crazy things. Although, admittedly, new spi current spiders are not that crazy, so I wouldn't. I should have retracted that statement. But he does go for the things that are not quite so popular. On this map, you'd normally see people go cloaky, or maybe shield, or sometimes like vehicle. Nope, he's going for spiders. And actually, I can totally understand because there's a lot of cliffs in this map. It's a very hilly map. I see the value in spiders. Very much so. He is, however, not going so much for Ambush Spider, although middling against Heavy Tank. The Fleas have a lot of leeway to get around. I mean, as I mentioned in the game with Failthos and Lowry, Heavy Tanks can't easily be everywhere at once. This Flea coming in here to try to deal with this mechs, and it won't be able to. The Kodachi will finish it off in time. Actually, I think the Welder will finish it off before that happens. Both of them at once, and unfortunately the Kodachi does end up burning the Metal Extractor to the ground. Lowry, his own worst enemy at the moment. At this point, I think the only player who has dealt any meaningful damage is Lowry. <laughs> and go to just finding some amusement in that. His raid worked, thanks to Lowry. Another flea coming in, however, is they are all getting shot down by the Kodachis. It'll take a few more for the Kodachi to pay for itself, though. About, I think, six more at this point. It's killed three. And no, these two have not actually played each other in a tournament. They have just both been in the tournaments. They never actually had the chance. They Lowry tended to be in the other side of the bracket from Gota. So never came up. However, Lowry does have some Panthers out now. They will be about as effective as the Kodachis are. It's really a question of how much can you be everywhere at once, especially with spiders. Like Cloakies have no problem because spiders and Cloakies have about the same number of units. Like a factor of two difference, maybe, when it comes to the fleas. I think Gota... No, he's still going for Fleas. He's going solidly for Fleas. He has one Weaver, but the rest of it's all Fleas. Oh, and one Venom. There we go. I was looking for that one. However, he's also nicely set up his Wind Generators along this hill here. Lowry, on the other hand, he is not Morph, but he is focusing a bit more on Solar on the ground. And he's actually behind in both Power and Metal. Well, Energy and Metal. And 18 to 12 for Gota. And... The flea coming back here, the welder won't be able to deal with it in time. That flea has that metal extractor. It will die in the process of the metal extractor exploding. But Lowry losing yet another metal extractor to a flea. Oh no, it won't die. Just far enough away, it does not in fact die. However, the Kodachi will finish it off. Does not burrow in time because it's not able to burrow while damaged. Flea is over here to the south, just in case Geothermal is built. Or actually, he's expecting wind to be built from the looks of it, but it's not going to happen. Not anytime soon, at least. And this is. Well, this is clearly Goat's game at this point. Lowry does not quite have the same level of map control. He does he has moved forward. He's a bit more aggressive along the south side. So these metal extractors are more or less his. But playing heavy tanks is hard to establish territory control that way. He is going for a lot of laser turrets around everything, just to make sure he has that. And against spiders, one lotus is enough. But at least against the fleas. Enough venoms, it becomes a bit of a different story. But against fleas, no problem. And more fleas just dying, but still, Gota is getting an idea of where Lowry is. Gota should have a radar at this point, though. But he does not! Gota is entirely focused on the line of sight. He's focused entirely on his fleas, using them as a scout network rather than using radar. Lowry, on the other hand, does have radar into about the center of the map. For heavy tanks, that makes perfect sense, because they can't be everywhere at once. Unlike spiders. Now, Gota and Lowry's commanders are about to meet up. Both of them recon commanders. Lowry's has been upgraded with a shotgun. However... Gota is not upgrading his commander quite yet. Lowry's... It's just a matter of weapon. Not survivability. It's really a matter of... Like... Laser Blaster versus Shotgun. Now, Laser Blaster will lose, but... I think Gota will just run away at that point. That being said, Gota has the entire north side of... The entire north side of the map, and pretty much the center as well. Lowry has the south side, but not much else. So Gota has... Really established himself quite effectively along here. Now... That being said, he's still harassing effect. He's still harassing fairly well. This welder able to save that melee strider for once. I'm a bit surprised Lowry has. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, a bit surprised he hasn't built a lotus yet. And now he is. There is that lotus I was looking for. But 
Lowry's starting to see the extent of his current front line, and he is not consolidating into a strong position. I'm a bit surprised he's not moving the Panther up a bit just to take out what he can. I mean, he has the south side. He has enough. He has enough lotuses. To, whoops. No, he has defenders here. He has lotus here. He has enough defenses to deal with the fleas as they come in. What he doesn't really have is any real way of dealing with the north side or anything else. I mean, is he aware of that? No, he isn't. He's not even aware that the north side is Gotas at this point. Also not aware that Gota has just gone for an air switch, gone for the requisite five shadows, and is about to attack the commander. Admittedly, with Recon Com, three shadows are sufficient, but five isn't a bad idea. The other two can be used to kill off metal extractors. And at this point, Gota has just a massive economic advantage. Lowry is now sort of moving out, but he has been consolidating here, and he needs to consolidate more in the center of the map. It's a bit tougher, yes, but he doesn't have the resources where he is now. He isn't even taking these metal extractors, to be honest. Are they... No, they're two metal, metal extractors. They are full value from a 0k perspective. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't taken them, but what I'm not surprised by is the shadow attack. Now Lowry's commander is going down, going to jump out of the way, try to avoid them, try to shock him out of the sky, but that does not work. That commander has been destroyed, and that is going to be a major blow for Lowry. I mean, losing a couple shadows in the process, but that commander, that commander was a fair amount of the economy now. Lowry has to rebuild metal extractors to deal with that, and of course, at this point, there are lotuses, there are some defenders, but there's no razors or anything. The welders are going to probably try to do what they can to build that up. But no, not yet, just building more wind generators. The shadows are going to come around for a second pass, right about now, actually. This shadow here is going towards, well, this defender, oddly enough. Not sure if it knows, a, I think it's probably a circle attack that targeted the defenders. Now at the same time, Shadow's doing what they're doing. Flea's setting up for an attack, maybe? I don't know. Not sure how well that'll work. This Banisher will be somewhat helpful, but it might be overkill in terms of costs against the Fleas. I guess the Venoms is not a bad idea, but against the Fleas, I don't really see the point. And Lowry still is on the back foot. He's been on the back foot this entire time. He's only taken about a third of the map. Well, Goda has basically as the center. Lowry's not going to push into the center, and Gota definitely has the north and has been taking advantage of it this time. And now has the south. Gota's commander is going to be coming in here to take care of the south, and that will be that. Caretaker being built up to assist this. Get a copper out of it, get rid of the bombers, but... Even with that... Oh, actually, the banish is not doing a bad job with the bombers. Not doing great, though. Reload time is a bit too high, but not doing a terrible job. Not sure... Does Gota have radar at this point? He does have radar at this No, that's Lowry. No, that, never mind, that was Gota. He does have radar at this point. He can see into the center, but basically he has had full map vision this entire game. That's what spiders give you. They give you a map hack, basically, with the fleas. Now, admittedly, it's easy to go around and scan for them for cloaky bots, but for heavy tanks, not so much. Definitely, the factory matchup played into Gota's hands at this point. However, I do think that Lowry really should have taken advantage of the fact that he is playing the heavier factory and pushed. That being said, this is going to be game. Lowry throws in the towel, and that will... That'll be that. So it's not a huge surprise, but interesting to see the two play each other. And we'll have another game for you guys in just a minute, so stay tuned.